Hello and happy Saturday. Um, here's Eva. I am about to leave my house. I'm going to go and run some errands, but some kind of like Christmas related errands. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I'm gonna change my shoes. But I was trying them with these pants. So these are the Acne Studios toy jeans. I have them in a size 27 and they're actually too big. Like, yes, they're oversized, but I think the 26 would be a bit better because I would prefer to wear them a little bit more low rise. Um, but whatever, it's fine. I actually would love to get them in like a dark gray in a 26. Um, like a gray or a black or a really dark denim. I actually am lacking dark denim. I have it on my list, but also like to be a little bit conscious about like which brands I buy from um, and all that. So. This, this is okay so I'm gonna change my shoes I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear because I'm kind of over wearing like sporty sneakers all the time but we will see and then um, I just have this old long sleeve top on um, but I'm gonna put a sweater over top too I just don't love when like any of this black shows so if it's a base layer I want it to be fully invisible <laughs> um, so I might not actually keep it on depending on what I put over top um, but yeah so I'm gonna go get like little things like I want to get almond flour because I'm gonna make gluten-free gingerbread feeling very Canadian or North American because I think it's not really a European Christmas treat. But um, I feel like I've been making really yummy gluten-free gingerbread for the past couple holiday seasons, past couple years. So I was like, oh, it would be a cute little thing for me to make. Um, what else? I just washed my hair so it's very like fluffy. I don't love it when it's like this, but like give it a few hours and it'll be fine. Um, okay, gingerbread. Oh, and, oh, and then I'm gonna make um, quiche as well in the next couple of days or like week. And I want to perfect the quiche crust. So I bought buckwheat flour yesterday and then I think I'm gonna get millet flour and tapioca starch and then do a little blend. And then I wanna get like, the perfect crust recipe and then I'm gonna put it into balls and freeze it so that I always have the perfect crust ready to go when I want to make my quiche um so those are the couple things that I need to get and then I have to get Christmas presents for a few people it's December 9th so I still have a little bit of time but I would love to get like 90% figured out in the next three days. We will see. What a beautiful day. <laughs> I completely changed from when I saw you guys a few minutes ago. I have this over top of the black long sleeve I was wearing. And then I put my vintage navy dress pants on with my A6 unaffected sneakers and I'm just bringing a red goyard to add a pop of color it's the GM size so the big size and I mean I'm getting groceries so I feel like or I'm getting like almond flour um so I feel like I want to have room to put a few things in and then either I will go straight to meet Emily or I'll go home first. We will see. Okay. Yes. Just walking by this little park. Yes.
find super easily any pillowcases to match these that I was obsessed with that was like a sustainable material um I don't want to just get basic cotton or basic linen pillowcases so I ended up ordering these unbleached organic linen pillowcases on Etsy um and they will they'll be here for like interim they're like from a cute little brand called Linen Spells. I'll probably actually remove this. <laughs> um, but, and then I also got a flat sheet to match. I don't like love the texture in it, I will be honest. But I do think it's a cute, cozy, like neutral base color um, to go with the Magni Bear um, duvet and other two pillowcases. So for now, this is the look. I don't know if I ever showed you up close, but it's like tiny stripe and then a little bit bigger. So I like to switch it up up there. Um, and I think this is cute for now. Then I also have a beige pillowcase and a navy pillowcase from Magniburg as well. It's linen, um, but they will go with a matching, two matching single duvets um at Philip's apartment. So for now this is cozy winter bedroom.
So baby, don't 